Good evening, weary travelers. I wanted to give a quick look at um, the Rotopax one gallon gas cans that I've been using on this uh, Triumph Scrambler uh, for my distance touring. Um, the bike only has about a four gallon tank and so the range can get limited in places where there's not a lot of gas stations. Um, I get about 45 if I'm being 45 miles to the gallon if I'm being gentle so um, you know the range gets a little bit limited so I initially just bought one of these Rotopax one gallons and I mounted it up on this uh, give a sneak peek of the mount system there on just a, a standard rack on the back of my bike and the reason I did this is because it, it mounts nice and flush and gives me a good purchase to um, strap other things on top of it if I'm getting um, low on space. So a lot of times I'll, I'll put my camel back and maybe a extra jacket, or if I'm camping, I'll tie a sleeping bag on top of this. Um, the, the mount is super simple. It's just a, a rotating latch. Slide it off and there, there you can see how I have it mounted. Um, I've only had to use it once or twice um, actually out on the road, but um, I did end up doing a, a pretty remote trip up through parts of Nevada where I knew gas was going to be really hard to come by. And so I bought the, the double stacker and basically it's a second one gallon roto pack. So I get two gallons total and um, it has a similar twist mount. This, this mount actually basically Let's see if I can see it, show it. You would unthread this mount, thread that one in, and then the second one would go back on top in there and lock them both into place. And even with the two, it's actually still relatively uh, low height. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I normally um, strap a bag back here and have one saddle bag on the side and, a, and my tools in the tool roll. and and um, maybe a tank bag and that's that. So been really happy with these um, and that's it. Thanks for listening.